Let's say you've participated in a meeting, somebody else recorded, but you don't see it in your Google Meetings recordings right now. Well, what that probably means is that the meeting was started by somebody else and they're the organizational owner. How can I retrieve a Google Meet that I didn't record? Good question. We get this one pretty regularly as well. Now, if you're in a Google Meeting and someone wants to record the meeting, the recording has to be stored in a Google Drive somewhere because all of Google's recordings automatically get saved to a Google Drive. Now, how the rules work if you're working in Google Workspace is that the organization that organized the meeting, so that's the person who arranged the meeting and put it onto Google Calendar, is the only person who's allowed to start the recording of that meeting. And that's because the meeting is effectively owned by the organization that started the meeting based on the person's calendar that it got placed onto first. Now, there's some ways of doing this with shared calendars. Now, when that meeting is concluded and the recording automatically finishes, it's gonna be placed into the Google Drive of the person that owns the meeting. So the person who's organized the meeting, that domain name is effectively the owner and the recording is gonna be placed into their My Drive and from there, it's gonna be shared with the participants in the meeting. But the owner of that recording becomes the person who was the organizer of the meeting. Okay, great. So let's say you've participated in a meeting, somebody else recorded, but you don't see it in your Google Meetings recordings right now. Well, what that probably means is that the meeting was started by somebody else and they're the organizational owner. Now, depending on their sharing settings, you may or may not be able to go back to the calendar event, open the calendar event, and sometimes you'll be able to see the meeting recording automatically saved into the calendar event. And if you were a participant in that meeting, you can typically click that button and access the recording. It will have shared view access to you if you were a participant. But if you, for some reason, based on the sharing settings or based on someone manually changing the access to that file, don't see access to that meeting. Well, it's up to the person who organized the meeting and made the recording to find that recording file and share it with you. Now, there's two places they can go to find that recording. Actually, there's three. Number one is inside their Google Drive. They can go and find it manually in the Google Meet Recordings folder. Number two, they can go to their calendar and they will see it attached to the Google Calendar event. If they were the organizer of the meeting, and they initiated the recording, the recording will definitely be attached to the calendar event. The third place to find it is for the person who made the recording in their inbox. After a meeting recording is completed and it's finished rendering, and this can take up to an hour after a meeting has finished, the person who recorded the meeting will receive an email message that the recording is finished and ready to view, and they can then access it and share it back to you if needed from there. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack, or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.